Hey guys, Asari here, back at it again with another video. So for this time, we're gonna be checking a quick unboxing, I'm not sure why I'm doing that, of a certain graphics card. Now you guys would have known or would know that if you followed the channel, you saw the RTX 2070 Super by Galax, the EXOC edition, which has been a total baller in handling all of my games plus streaming all in one PC. Especially when Borderlands 3 comes out, or actually is already out, it has done a spectacular job of handling the game, even though uh, if you guys might have played it or is, or you know, uh, saw some reviews for the PC version, it's not looking too hot, but the RTX uh, 2070 Super is doing a fantastic job of handling it. Uh, and this time, I want to showcase you guys right here, the smaller brother of the 2070 Super, and this is the Galax RTX 2060 Super. Now this thing uh, might come in a smaller package, but you know, it's not the size that matters, it's how you use it. And this thing can be used in many different ways, so let's unbox this baby boy right here, right now. First up, you're gonna be seeing the, again, the green aesthetics and basically um, Galax's look on what a gamer is. The edgy, mysterious guy, but this thing uh, does look pretty dang good out of the box. And of course, opening on the side, they're gonna just be pumping out this baby right here. Oh yeah, that's good. And like with all other uh, Galax boxes, we have here the GeForce RTX black box. And I do love that uh, GeForce, or at least Galax, NVIDIA in general, doesn't like to do the fancy, um, you know, kind of boxing setup because I don't really want all of that stuff. I, I know that I want to be amazed, but I want to be amazed by the product itself, which if you know, if you guys know Galax, should be the case. So we have this protective layer of foam covering the top side so it doesn't wiggle around inside the box. We have the quick setup guide right here. And of course, this small box right here. Ah, fooled you guys. Which is filled with cables. This is, again, 2060 Super. It's in this uh, protective plastic cover. Just gonna pop that out. Oh, you got that new GPU smell. This thing is brand new. And this is an unboxing again. So, big... Big, big thanks to Galax again for sending me this copy and... Ooh, all right, okay, all right, okay. Check it out. So this thing is a dual fan setup. I think the one that I have is also a dual fan, but much, much bigger. Having something like this, if you're not gonna be doing something super intensive in terms of like AAA games, this thing can still handle competitive games and even AAA games in high setting. At the very top of the plating, you can see that there is that silver and black accents that make it look really, really neutral and stealthy with a little bit hint of you know, awesomeness because they do give you that two-tone which makes it look uh, really, really beautiful if you're gonna vertically align it like that. At least it won't look uh, too janky or something. It just looks really, really uh, nice. Uh, I also love about this part which is the grills on the side making it, making it look very industrial which is, again, a very nice uh, thing from Galax. They love doing this stuff. And from the looks of it, they kind of have the same thing right here on the fans, which is a little bit uh, transparent, translucent, which kind of indicates that this thing might actually have RGB capabilities on the fans. Same with what I have with the RTX 2070 uh, Super. Now, looking at the back, we have a, yes, a back, a GPU backplate, which we, we actually I didn't see when I was able to kind of get my first uh, taste of a graphics card which was a GTX 970 and when it got also a GTX 1060 like three years ago I did not have something like this because sometimes a lot of people don't actually want to see the um, the circuit board on the back you know the green stuff with the with the with the circuits with the lines and whatnot because it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing at least with this one you can actually 
Uh, if you don't like this kind of, again, industrial look, you can remove it and then you can probably like um, paint it all black if you want that all stealth look or, you know, sky's the limit. Uh, from the looks of it, again, uh, it's just fa fairly shaped, fairly sized. Has the GeForce RTX logo right here. I'm not sure if this lights up. And if you're wondering about how this thing is powered, it has a single 8-pin connector right here on the top side. Uh, for the ports on the on the rear end, we have ourselves a DVI-D, as well as one HDMI, one display port. So what's kind of good about this is that you can have multiple setups, but the problem is that it's kind of like three different ports for what you might have, like maybe two HDMIs or two Display Ports, maybe even two DVIDs. So if you guys are gonna be buying a 2060, uh, sorry, a 2060 Super, make sure that you have the proper cables, or if you have not the proper cables, at least a converter, so that uh, you don't have to worry about this issue when you buy the product. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is your unboxing of the Galax RTX 2060 Super. If you want to see more content, please check out my Facebook page or YouTube channel at Facebook, YouTube.com, Twitch.tv, at Aserai Gaming. It's all, it's all unified. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.